I'm going to say. As he brushes his beard. Brushes his beard pensively. I'm going to say third place. I'm oh, going to well, say. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Just for a bit of suspense. Uh, third place, I'm going to say Charles Leclerc. Second place, I'm going to say Lando Norris. And then drum roll, first place. I don't know why I did suspensefully. I'm going to say Max. I still think Max wins. But I just want people to think I was going a different way. I just, I just want you to know that typing that was annoying. So don't yeah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I can see you kind of being like having to push the backspace as you went. So sorry, Casey. <laughs> no. Perfect. All right. Again. Max, Lando, Charles, Laz. Well, I did wonder there for a minute. Maybe Nate's going to suggest that Max reti- retires. So maybe we should always do it back to the front. Okay, which way would you prefer I do it? Should I do All it right, go back to front. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Now I've got to think of actually who I'm going to pick. Uh, in third place, Lando Norris. Oh. In second place, Carlos Sainz. Ooh. And in first place, Charles Leclerc, a Ferrari 1 2. Uh, in oh, yeah. Wow. There you go. go. So it works, right? Although I did kind That's of what I should pre- have done. preview a little bit that I was going to go that way, but um, yeah, why not? Why not? Why didn't Maybe I do that? My lead while it's still there will probably disappear. By I the dig end. that. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay. I'm going to go because I'm in it to win it. Max. Oh, wait, I'm gonna, I've got to go back. No, you can do it. No, you can, back you can do it however you want. But backwards I'm... is the cooler way now. Okay. Oscar Piastri, P3. Oh, this is so lame. Lando Norris, P2. <laughs> Max Verstappen, P1. Yeah, that's a pretty good guess, actually. That's Yeah, okay. I think that's pretty solid. I want to see Oscar redeem himself because I felt like he was having such a great race and then he just got, he got in two precarious situations and then found himself at the back. So, mm. but we'll see if he redeems himself. I just wanted there's one 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 thing from this weekend that I just wanted to quickly bring up that I'm quite excited about as in a really nerdy way. Not really Are you a nerdy going way, to just watch another match with Ed Sheeran or Oh no 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 I hadn't actually thought of that. I mean we didn't even talk about that, did we, at any point? Uh other than the entire time I was in Miami after that. Um, I don't think Leeds fans now watch or listen to our podcast. That's fine. We don't need Leeds fans listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, for anyone listening, I, I watched a football game with Ed Sheeran. Don't worry about it. We'll do it. We'll do a show on it one day. Um, I'll talk all about it. Um, I was going to say, and it was great, by the way, hoping to see him at another F1 race. My mate Ed, who has, I don't have his number or anything. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> I was just going to say one thing I'm really excited to see, especially if, if you're lucky enough to kind of time your drive in with him. This is the first race in Italy for Lewis Hamilton since oh. we had the Ferrari news. And I'm actually quite excited to see how that goes because, like, mm-hmm. the 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 story always is, Ferrari fans are Ferrari fans first, and they just adopt the driver. Like whoever is the driver, they're like, "Yep, we're a fan there now." He's our guy. Lewis, obviously, a bit like Max, is a quite a divisive character. You know, very much like you love him or you hate him. I think that's just a just what happens when you've won for a long time. So it'll be really fascinating to see the kind of reaction he gets from the diehard Tifosi that are there. Um, and, that, you know, I, I'm not sure if he'll have a chance to be on the podium because where Mercedes is that right now. But mm. just an interesting one to keep an eye on uh, yeah. as well. Yeah, that's brilliant. And this just popped up in my head as well. Anyone listening on ESPN <clears throat> and hears the commentator and thinks, oh, the commentator, Crofty's got a weird voice this weekend. It's not David Croft on Sky Sports, ESPN's feed. It's Harry Benjamin. So don't adjust your set and think something's wrong with my feed. New commentator, which I think is the first time that will have happened on ESPN's coverage uh, of an F1 race since we got the rights back. So lots of weird things happening. So how will that work? Who's he calling? Who's he doing the race with? Harry Benjamin's stepping in. Uh, I think he's doing it with Brundle. Uh, oh, okay. So he's just stepping in on Sky. Yeah. He's Crofty's not doing just an alternative weeks, weeks, broadcast for us. Okay. 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 Yeah. But I think that's actually, I think people are going to kind of lose their minds a little bit when, if they don't know that, they turn on, you're so used to hearing one voice doing a TV show and you're sort of like, hang on a sec, what, like, did something happen? Like, so the Crofty's going to be trending on like Saturday morning for sure when people are like Googling frantically, like, where is he? So that's where he is. He's just taking some time off. You don't think he could say lights out away we go? Like, you can't say that if you're stepping into that booth. No, he's and... got to come up with his own one. You what would your, him. what would your, what would your one be? I'd be like, and they're off. Like, I'm more excited <laughs> than that, you know? 
<laughs> and that's why you have this job so and he has that. Yeah, exactly. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.